hello. It is fantastic to see you. I hope that you're doing well, that you're enjoying your day with your family and friends. Thank you for taking a few moments of your time to check out where I am with Pan that palette as I drop my palette. I'm going after my GBS Place Nubian 3 Coral palette for the year 2024. And I'm also jumping in on the whole uh, Pan that palette trend of the hashtag Better Together Pan that palette started by Paula or a beauty guru made me do it with my old school, uh, actually with my Z palette, as well as the hashtag kicking it old school Pan that palette started by Jessica Lee and Dana with those trusty MAC palettes. So if you are interested in the details of this pan that palettes check out the description box below as well as links to their social medias it is an awesome way to not only get into some older eyeshadow in your um, stashes but also it's a way to jump around and have some brand change-ups because it can get kind of stale I'm not gonna lie <laughs> when you're painting one palette consistently for a year and you're like I just need some creativity I need some motivation I need some encouragement so on that note I know this is gonna be for a separate conversation but I just had to put this blurb in there because if you've been with me a long time you know you know and so a couple days ago I was watching Kat um, was it on Instagram or was it on YouTube shorts or something but she was talking about how Urban Decay Urban Decay is gonna re-release the Naked palette y'all <laughs> Should we have a separate video on this? Let me know in the comments below because not gonna lie, I had all, all the feels, all the feels <laughs> when I heard that because I mean, it was just like all the positive, all the negative, all the weird, all the nostalgia, like everything because it was such a journey panning that palette, what, 10, 11 years ago, like the cycle's coming back around. Like, and. It, like I said, that's going to be a conversation for a whole another video, but it just got my head spinning of like, all right, here we go. The whole not wearing eyeshadow for a year for a lot of people and then the naked palette's going to come back around and guess what's going to come back in vogue in a couple years? More palettes. And then it's going to be colorful eyeshadows, which is awesome. We can all catch up because we're, you know, doing our thing, project painting, but... Let, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below because this needs to be a thing that we discuss in the Project Pan community because the other conversation I think we need to have on a larger scale is the whole underconsumption trend that's going on. Like, I didn't realize it was a thing because I don't do TikTok, but now that it's spilling into the YouTube sphere, I was like, let's call it what it is, it's Project Panning. <laughs> It's just, it's another label, but it's it's Project Panning. So it made me chuckle, it made me smile. It definitely made me want to jump on here and be like, we need to have a conversation about this all over again. Because I mean, it started for me like watching Kelly Gooch's video. I'll go on and link it up below, um, as well as some other YouTubers that are really kind of jumping on the under consumption discussion. And I thought maybe if we put in our uh, two cents, <laughs> You know, because a lot of us have been here for a long time painting makeup, and I think that we offer an incredible amount of perspective um, in our own journeys and, and what we've learned through the years of, of doing our own project pans. So anyways, that's, again, another conversation, another time, but let me know if you'd like to have that because I think that we have some genuine thoughts to bring to the table. So as we get started with Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette, last time I updated you back in June, I had hit quite a few pans i mean at least over half this palette at this point um and then you know i i've been going through a rosy gold phase smoky eye in fact i finally got that get ready with me posted so if you like an easy go-to smoky eye go want to check out the cards above as well as the description box below because i have received so many compliments on this makeup look especially in the last couple of weeks that it is definitely worth recreating and thank goodness because man this is dupable so on that note here's where i was back in june with my palette update and then here is where we are now now <laughs> first off let's address the elephant in the room what's going on with this shade down here because y'all know i've been wearing a rosy gold look for quite some time I didn't have a whole lot left of the shadow in this. It was a matte taupe, uh, kind of a dove gray kind of shade. I loved wearing it with my gray smoky eye. In fact, I'll also link that, get ready with me below. I called it Amber's Armadillo Eyes. 
and I went through a time of wearing gray eyeshadow for a good number of months and I really am looking forward to kind of having that similar vibe coming up in the fall and winter. I didn't have a whole lot left of the shadow and it finally cracked and fell on the floor and once it went on the floor I decided I'm not going to save what's left because I don't want to go through the hassle of worrying about eye infection, of scooping up that shadow and whatnot, so I just bid adieu and we're going to keep moving as I dip my hand in eyeshadow. So that's what happened to that one, but have no fear, I do have other options going into my collection. I can find you some similar shades. We're, we're going to still be able to discuss dupes. The shades that I'm making the most impact on right now, I'm currently wearing one, two, three, four, five of the 12 shades on my eyes and my face. So the one that I expect to finish next is probably, well, let me take that back. The one I expect to finish next is probably gonna be this rose gold shade up here, which is what I love to wear on my lid. It's a very, very easy, um, appropriate shade for lots of different looks. So you can definitely multitask it if you wanna wear more of a purple look. Um, more of a gray look, more of a brown look, rusty brown, you name it, it's a fantastic kind of a rosy gold shade. And if you use a lighter hand, you can also double it up as a highlighter. I'm hoping to finish this probably around, let's say September. I mean, I, I definitely like if I wear this for the most part of the week, um, over the month of August, I should probably get through the majority of it. And because it is a shimmer shadow, you do get to a point as you get down into the bottom, it gets very crumbly and it will have to be repressed. So that's something to think about. And once I repress it, the shadow is going to go really, really fast. So, um, just heads up kind of my, my goal in mind that I have to finish this shade is by September. The other shimmery shadow that I've really kind of been focusing on is this very, very light peach that's in the bottom. I changed my plan because at first I was going to go through and kind of go back to an old smoky eye that I'd worked on using a Natasha Denona shadow and using this on the lid. But really what I've found that works for me lately has been to use this in my inner corners to highlight and I'm also going through using it as my facial highlight. Um, so that is how I'm getting through this shade. It's absolutely beautiful. It does look really, really orange if you swatch it. So is that coming across well enough where you can see, or I apologize if this is not completely visible. But what I've noticed is it works really, really well as a highlight. If I lightly dust it on my cheeks, I go down the center of my nose as well as my cupid's bow and then the inner corners. And it's really helping me to make some progress. So I'm going to go on and stay consistent and stick as much as I can within this palette because I am feeling a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a push, that now we're getting into the latter part of the year. And if I don't wanna be going into 2025 with this palette, um, I, I do need to solely focus on it for the most part. I'm also making huge progress in this rusty brown shade, as you can see. I'm starting to clear out the outer ring of the pan, which is super exciting. And thank goodness I like this shade because boy howdy, I have found lots of dupes for it in my collection. So I feel like I'm really getting into a groove with it. I like the way that it looks on my skin tone. I receive lots of compliments when I wear this shade blended out, especially with these shades down here um, that I'm, I'm glad that I'm really, really loving it. So I'm honestly going to try to figure out a way to use it with this rusty red shade that's that's the shade that's kind of making me a little bit nervous uh coming up in the next few months but be on the lookout because i'm definitely planning to incorporate it for fall and winter makeup and then also can you see down here i have finally hit pan in this matte orange now i'm not focusing hardcore on it I use it mixed with this coral shade over here to blend out my crease area. And I also blend it with a lighter peach shade from Natasha Denona to use as a lighter blush. But for the last couple of weeks, I've really zoned in on this coral shade over here to just flat out finish it out. It has been the primary focus of my blush for 2024, or I've also gone in and, like I said, mixed this with a Natasha Denona shade, but I wanna finish this within the next month or two because it took me so long 
to see progress on this shadow. And then now that I see that my effort was never wasted because what I was doing was I was clearing out the entirety of the pan versus focusing on the center. Every time I use this, I'm making major progress. So you can see how thin it is around the pan, around the edges, around the center. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping by the end of August that that'll be done. It is what I'm currently wearing for my blush. I also use it blended out with this orange in my crease and we are making the progress. So that's where we are with Juvia's Place. As you can see, the only shadows I have left to hit pan in are gonna be the two, or actually the one silver, and then this uh, rusty red shimmery shade. So that feels incredible, absolutely incredible. Then let's go on to the Natasha Denona Mini Biba palette because that is another palette that we need to discuss. I'm reaching for it every single day. This is where I was last time we spoke. And then this is what's going on currently. As you can see, I've hit pan in that coral shade. This is what I love to mix with the matte orange from the Juvia's Place palette to use as a blending out shade. I also use it as a blush. I have taken a break from it temporarily because I really want to focus in on the coral shade. I also finished the highlighting shade. Again, that's why I went to that very, very light coral shade from the Juvia's Place palette. But then this is what has been lovely and surprising and I'm making tons of progress. This matte rusty brown shade is just a smidge darker than the Juvia's Place Rusty Brown, but I love to use it to smoke out the outer corners of my eyes. So that is how I'm going through using that on a day-to-day -day basis. I wanted to update you on it because it's always fun. And um, here's to uh, hopefully finishing out a mini pan, um, or not mini, not mini pan, mini palette <laughs> by the end of 2024 because I may end up mixing this shade in with the rusty red shade from the Genius Place palette if it ends up being too like Christmas bow wrapping package on my eyes. We'll see. So there we go. Plans to hopefully, hopefully finish this out before the end of 2024. Then I have taken a break. Actually, let's go into kicking it old school first. I have taken a break from the um, hash, I mean, from the um, MAC Warm Neutrals palette. I do have words today, I promise. But last time we spoke, I talked to you about wanting to finish the matte espresso shade that is in the top corner of the palette. That's the status update of where I was back in June. I am happy to report that since then, <clears throat> I have been able to finish that shadow. So here we go. What's going on with the MAC palette? I have one, two, three, four pans that are finished. And then as far as like moving forward with this palette, I'll keep you updated when I kind of go back to working on it. But so far, um, the last couple of weeks, I've really found some other options that I prefer. So we're just gonna tuck this away in my vanity for a while and when I'm ready, I'll get back to it. So the primary focus of the Kickin' It Old School Pan That Palette has been my MAC in the Flesh Palette. I am working on three shades currently out of that. So let me show you where I was last time. And then this is where we are currently. I have been going through every single day. I'm setting my liner with the carbon shade in the bottom. So as you can see, I'm finally clearing out the bottom corner. And if you know, you know from panning matte black shadows, it is no small feat. So I am pretty proud of myself. The other two shades that I'm really working on are these two. This is kind of a matte. Um, smoky brown. I use this in combination with a Too Faced shadow. I'm going to show you from the Better Together to fill in my brows. I talked about I also have an RMS Beauty um, a brow powder that I like as well as the Natasha Denona shadow, but I've decided when I found a great brow combination using those two shadows, I really decided I wanted to clear out some more pan. So I'm going after this shade. And then the matte gray over here, can you see I have finally, 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 finally hit pan. And now it's expanding that pan. I love to use this in my crease when I do my armadillo eye look. I love to use it on my lower lash line 
to contrast the warm smoky eyes going on on my face. So don't be afraid to do that with your makeup. Go through, if you're gonna wear a really warm eye, bring out those grays and smoke out your lower lash line, especially if you're doing like I am, you're transitioning, letting your gray hair grow in. It makes a really, really great statement while staying very neutral, but it just balances out your eye look. So that's how I'm continuing to get through the shades in this palette. So hopefully by the end of 2024, I'll have mm, two, two more empty pans. I mean, we're gonna have to really do some, <sighs> some <laughs> hard reflection on finishing the matte black by the end of 2024, but we'll see. We'll see, so that's the current status of that palette. Then going on to hashtag better together, pan that palette, here's what's going on with the Z palette shades. I'm working on two shadows from this palette currently. So the main one that I discussed last time was the highlighting shade, and that was the only thing I've been working on. So here's what's going on with the palette currently. I have added two Cleonda Cosmetics shadows, so it's gonna look a little bit different in the layout because I put in this blue shadow as well as this, um, did I add the purple shadow last time? I don't remember. Maybe this one's been in for a while, but I know the palette's gonna look a little bit more full because I added that blue shadow in. But the shades that I've been working on have been this cream shadow over here from Too Faced. I have finally cleared out the side of the pan so now I'm working on this end first and then I'll go through and finish this end. It is my go-to highlighting shade every single day for my brow bone and my inner corner. And then I top it with that Juvia's Place sparkly shadow on my inner corner. And then I go through and I mix this brown with that um, in the flesh kind of a cool tone brown to make my eyebrow shade. So this is an old as dirt eyeshadow. I don't really feel comfortable wearing it on my lids. We'll see, I'll try it because I do kind of wanna see how it's gonna work out with some of these like golds and this peach down here. So I'll keep you posted on it. I do like that it has a little bit more of a cooler tone vibe to it. Um, but as far as using it as an eyebrow powder, why not? Why not? And then it gives me another empty pan to go for in this palette. So that's where we are currently. We're just keeping on, keeping on. Just give you a little bit of inspiration, have some more pan, excuse me, have some more pan showing. And then lastly, let's talk about where we are with the Natasha Denona Biba palette. Um, that is one that I'm going to keep updating you on. I don't really have it in a formal project, but I am consistently going through it. So here's where I was practically new. The last time we were able to sit down and have an update. And then this is where we are currently. The shadows that I talked about, this is a dupe for the RMS brow powder that I really enjoy using. So I've used it a couple of times just to make sure that I'd kind of get familiar with it, get comfortable with it, you know, just enjoy spending time with this palette. And that's when I decided, nope, I'm gonna go hardcore. I wanna finish some shadows. So that's when I went back into the MAC palette. But the shadow that I'm using every single day is this warm brown up here called Buff. This is what I use as my crease transition shade to minimize the hood of my eye. And if you have the Mini Viva palette, it is the brown shade that I finished out of here. So it was a direct crossover, natural segue, um, instant motivation to go on and finish up some more shadows. So it was, the, it was the matte brown that comes out of here. And it's also similar to the um, warm matte brown. If you have the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral palette, that sits in this pan right here. So it was just, it made too much sense. I had to, I just had to. So this is where we are currently. Am I gonna hit pan in this anytime soon? I don't know, we'll see. But as long as I'm wearing that rusty red shade in my crease, I'm gonna go after it. So I'll keep updating you on this, you know, each month until we make some progress. And then, you know, after I finish that carbon shadow, I'll probably naturally go into this shade for my liner and whatnot. In fact, I'm kind of debating, would you want to see me pan this as a palette in its entirety next year for 2025? I don't know. Leave me a comment below because um, 
The other shades, like this Monroe shade, is very similar to the shimmery shade that was in the Mini Biba. You could also sub in this shade up here. I don't know, I'm kind of debating about like, do I want to pan this palette or do I want to move on and do something completely different? Wait and see kind of what's gonna trend or whatnot. I don't know, just thinking out loud. How would you feel about seeing me do this? Or would you want to see me continue panning what I've currently got going with the hashtag better together? The kicking it old school, if I don't finish Julia's place, would you want to see me continue painting that into 2025? I've also got some shadows I'm working on out of the BH Cosmetics palette with that gray vibe. I don't know. So let me know in the comments below, but otherwise, short and sweet update. Then I also wanted to kind of talk about as far as the get ready with me goes, the lip combo that I'm wearing in the video, if you want just an easy everyday nude, I've got on MAC World Lip Pencil along with the Thanks It's MAC. Um, is it a luster lipstick from MAC um, for my easy go-to? And then today I'm actually doing the MAC World Lip Pencil along with the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Cali Sunset Vibe. So I'm trying to get on the lip gloss trend. I can do it with this brand. I really like it. So wanted to share that with you if you have these in your collection or if you're not a lip gloss fan like me this is actually quite comfortable and it looks really pretty because it makes you look like you've got some lip plumpers going on so a little bit of a little bit of bonus factor all right that about wraps it up we got a lot of things to talk about coming up in the future so like i said i'm looking forward to hearing your comments um, and further discussion on this whole over or under consumption over consumption trend as well as Give me your thoughts on the uh, re-release of the Naked palette, especially if you've been in the makeup community a long time like I have. So until next time, I hope you take care. Don't forget to check out that Get Ready With Me that I posted. Have fun with your makeup. Shop your stash. Here's your motivation and encouragement for project panning. Good luck. You're going to do awesome. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Adios.